Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Boeing Starliner returns despite hiccups. Dusto looks to score a perfect 10x. Dynan Avionics issues new software update for Skyview HDX. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Boeing Starliner returns despite hiccups. On May 19, 2022, the Boeing Orbital Flight Test 2 uncrewed CST-100 launched aboard the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket to the ISS. Late last week, the CST-100 returned, landing at the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. While the return landing was textbook, its trip to the ISS wasn't entirely without issue. Apparently, on its way to the ISS, two of its main thrusters went offline per sensor data, but backups kicked into gear and was on its merry way. And again, problems arose when the CST-100 got close to the ISS. Two positioning thrusters that were to assist in docking with the spacecraft also had problems. A third issue was the failure of the spacecraft's thermal control system, whose job it is to keep the spacecraft at the right temperature. Both NASA and Boeing still consider the mission a success. Mr. Mark Nappy, a VP of Boeing who oversees the Starliner program, said that despite the problems, the, quote, spacecraft is in excellent condition, end quote, and that it, quote, performed like it was supposed to, end quote. Both NASA and Boeing are optimistic about being able to send a crewed mission by the end of this year. And after the break, next generation SpaceX vehicles prepare for testing. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Next generation SpaceX vehicles prepare for testing. After six months of relative inactivity, SpaceX has delivered a new Starship prototype to its Starbase Texas launch facility. SpaceX hasn't rolled a new and functional Starship prototype from its factory to the test stand since the summer of 2021. By the time it was retired in May 2022, Starship 20 was ostensibly ready for test flight. Regrettably, it never received the FAA environmental approval or launch license needed for an orbital launch attempt. Only now does it seem SpaceX will finally receive the necessary permissions for a limited orbital test flight. UK trials set for Qatar Airways and Airbus. Airbus and Qatar Airways are heading to court. The case, a bitter safety and contractual dispute, was brought by Qatar Airways after the carrier grounded 21 of its A350s over flaws in their protective coating. The airline has questioned the jet's defenses against lightning, which strikes commercial jets about once a year, and is suing Airbus for $1 billion in damages for idled planes. Airbus has countersued for the return of millions of dollars of credits awarded Qatar Airways when the aircraft in question were sold. New USAF bomber slated for 2022 rollout. Northrop Grumman stated that the public unveiling of its next-generation stealth bomber, the B-21 Raider, is still expected later this year. The aircraft, an advanced, very long-range, heavy, payload, stealthy, intercontinental strategic bomber, is an integral component of the U.S. Air Force's long-range strike bomber program. Expected to enter service in 2026, the B-21 Raider is to complement existing Rockwell B-1 Lancer, 
Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit, and Boeing B-52 fleets already in U.S. service. Free STEM event coming to Lakeland. Sun and Fun's Aerospace Center for Excellence, in conjunction with 2022 Air Race Classic participants, will host a free girls-only STEM aviation education event for those aged 11 to 18 on June 18, 2022, from 1 to 3 p.m. CDT. The event will be held in the Skylab Innovation Center at Lakeland Linder International Airport in Florida. Only 60 spots are available, so don't delay your registration. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Dassault looks to score a perfect 10x. Dassault reports its Falcon 10x program is gaining momentum on its way to a proposed 2025 quarter 4 certification date. Parts production is underway with final assembly set to begin in 2023. Currently, the first of the Falcon 10x's all composite wings is in assembly in Biarritz, France. The wing will undergo testing in a static rig this summer. When complete, the 10X will boast a cabin height of 6 feet 8 inches and a volume of 2,780 cubic feet, the largest cabin of any purpose-built business jet. The aircraft's range, according to Dassault, will be 7,500 nautical miles at Mach 0.85 and top speed will be Mach 0.925. The first of the ultra-efficient Pearl 10X engines that will power the 10X is being tested at Rolls-Royce's Dolovitz, Germany facility. To date, the 18,000-plus pound thrust engine has accumulated 1,000 test hours, including runs on 100% sustainable aviation fuel. Rolls-Royce states that Pearl 10X will be certified to operate on 100% SAF. Desso has outfitted the Falcon 10X with a single power lever, which cedes control of its two Rolls-Royce Pearl 10X engines entirely to the aircraft's digital flight control system. The controversial system is intended to preclude power management mistakes flight crews might make in high-stress, abnormal, or emergency situations. And after these messages, Dynan Avionics issues new software update for Skyview HDX. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Dynan Avionics issues new software update for Skyview HDX. Dynan Avionics has announced an update to their Skyview HDX displays, resolving issues experienced with Dynan Wi Fi adapters. The issue affects those Skyview displays manufactured during or after March 2022. Some of the issues include display restarts or display freezing, which the company notes, quote, can result in the partial or complete loss of flight instrumentation without warning, end quote. Dynan states that many models and variations of the Skyview are entirely unaffected, like the standard certified version of the Skyview HDX. The only system requiring the update are those experimental models of the 10-inch and 7-inch HDX displays running hardware version 4. To complete the fix, owners will need to download the software package for version 16.3.2 or later. If the fix cannot be done prior to further operation, the USB Wi-Fi adapter should be disconnected to preclude the appearance of known issues. While the most recent software version consists of bug fixes and compatibility fixes, previous major releases brought additional features for Skyview owners. At the close of last year, Dynan introduced support for Slingshot and FlyQ users, as well as updated twin-engine monitoring for those aircraft so equipped. 
Additionally, Dynan addressed a Zulu time issue that caused an 18-second discrepancy in the Skyview's clock. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.